welcome to my channel. This is my first planting of 2021, so very exciting. I am going to start today some pansies in this little pie tin. And in my lasagna container, I'm gonna be doing up a few greens. So I've already put my seed starting mix that I pre-moistened and I put it in the containers. I am using some seeds I got from my seed swaps this year. So this one is the Helen Mount Viola I'm going to be using in here. This is the King Henry Viola. And this one is the Viola Tricolored Wild Pansy. So pansies need pure dark, apparently. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to be covering them up. So I'm just going to sprinkle some on here. Kind of trying to do these in like triangular wedges, but I wanted to see how much seed I had. So that was what it was here. That was the tricolor. So it's gonna go here. So I can kind of see. I'm gonna just kind of try and keep a line here where I put those put my little stick. I know some people don't like using popsicle sticks. I've never had a problem with it before. So I use it all the time. So now I'm gonna go with the King Henry Viola. Now these things apparently take quite a while to get going. So you wanna start them nice and early because you can plant them out nice and early. They are a cold, loving annual. So that was our King Henry Viola. And those go right here. And then I have a lot more of this one, which is the Helen Mount. Never grown pansies before, so this will be exciting. Because I'm looking forward to doing my own spring containers this year. I've never done a spring container. I've always just gone from whatever I've left in there from the holidays. I go straight to my summer containers. So that'll be really nice to see some color in the cooler months come April in there. Okay, and then we're just gonna very carefully, they're so tiny, sprinkle them over this one. Okay, and then I have my one for that. So that's done. I have my little lid that's going to go on top of that after, but it's holding all my seeds for now. So set those on that tray. So then in this one here, I want to get some of my greens started. So I have the little gem lettuce that I grew last year. It did really well. I used it as like a cut and come again type. So I'm just going to be sprinkling it. So I have three I'm doing here, so I'm just going to divide the container in two thirds. Next up I will do the kale, which I've never grown before. Thank you Baker Creek for my seed packet. Some of these I'll probably keep and let them get big and put them out. And then some of them I'll probably just be eating them. Fairly small in the um, in the heads, just cutting them, adding them to salads or whatever. And then our spinach, which we've got one grouped in there. And then we just do our spinach over here like this. Alright. So the kale. Label, label, label. You think you'll remember? You don't. So there's the lettuce. There's my seed that goes in the tray. I'll take these back. Now that I'm done, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more of my seed starting mix. Use whatever you want. All 
right? Now they all have their own. Little... So this one has its little tray. I'll give it a little mist of water. When I get upstairs, I don't want to carry anything too high. Into those. probably set this inside of the black plastic bag. There we go. And then just keep an eye on that germinating. So that's it for starting that style of seed.